All the energy in the world can be divided into two categories, potential and kinetic. Potential energy is stored energy, while we find kinetic energy when something is moving. Think about this. I have a rubber band. I will use the energy in my body to stretch the rubber band. Right now, the rubber band isn't moving, but it has a lot of stored potential energy. So what happens if I let it go? Ah, yay. <laughs> that potential energy is converted to kinetic energy and the rubber band goes flying. Ouch. <laughs> Here's another way to see potential and kinetic energy at work using nothing more than popsicle sticks. Okay, so the idea with this is this, they're made out of wood, but I can bend them. So kind of that bending, that tensile-ness, um, that's what I'm going to use to store the potential energy. So it's very similar to the water being held back um, in Niagara Falls. Basically, I'm gonna cross them and I'm gonna weave them. But in the weave, I'm going to, if it wants to go up, I'm pushing it down. If it wants to go down, I'm pushing it up. And if we keep going, and I'm actually putting a lot of my own energy into it by holding it down. So that tells you how much power I can kind of store in these things. So this is just a little one. This one's just a little one. And if I were to let go, you can actually see it pulling up a little bit. If I were to let go, it comes apart. It's like a little bitty curse explosion, <laughs> if you will. That was all well and good, but what if I made it a little bit larger? Oh. Fingers crossed, three, two, one. Ah, yes! <laughs> it happened! It's like the potential energy burst into kinetic energy. Motion you can see! And that's exactly how Niagara works. Stored water energy suddenly released, transformed into motion, and finally into electricity. So the next time you see something waiting to spring, remember, it's just potential energy, ready to burst into kinetic motion.